Okay, let's meditate for a few minutes. Hainam Pavana Sapakna. When you're practicing the path, it's like taking a raft across a river. You have to keep looking after the raft to make sure it doesn't start loosening up. Because otherwise a big wave comes and your raft is just scattered all over the place and you have nothing to hang on to. So you've got to make sure that the things that bind the raft together are nice and tightly bound. In other words, when you're being mindful of the breath, you really want to stick with it very precisely, very consistently. Try to notice even the slightest slipping away and try to tighten things up immediately. That doesn't mean you tighten up the breath, it means that you tighten up your awareness. As for the breath, the breath has to be kept calm and comfortable all the way. This is one of the difficult parts about meditating, is we have a tendency when we're concentrating is to tense up around whatever it is we're concentrating on. And we're having to learn the skill of how you stay concentrated and yet keep the body relaxed so the concentration doesn't put any undue force on the flow of the blood or the breath energy in the body. So it's primarily a matter of mindfulness and alertness, just keeping watch after each other. Mindfulness, reminding, 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 alerting, alertness, watching, watching, watching. And trying to make sure that it's not just while you're sitting here with your eyes closed or doing walking meditation that you're alert to what's going on. As you're dealing with other people, as you're walking around, whatever you're doing, try to keep your mindfulness continually with the breath, your alertness continually with the breath. And the ardency is what keeps things all nice and tightly bound. So things don't loosen up and this slips in and that slips in and all of a sudden you find it tearing the raft apart. You've got to keep your awareness really, really consistent. It's like putting up a fence. If the boards of the fence are far apart, any animal can go right through. The boards of the fence have to be tightly put together so there's no space for anything to get through. That's when the fence really can protect you. It's the same way with your mindfulness, alertness, and your discernment. You want to keep them really tightly kept together like this from moment to moment to moment. And that's what protects you from the things that will make your path fall apart. To try to stay on top of things. Like a good repairman, always make sure that your raft is tightly bound together and there's no, no logs beginning to loosen up and drift away. And you're sure to make it across to the other side. 